All right, so let's say we were looking at this CESD variable. We can see that a, it has a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 43, but we can also see that it's a bit statistically skewed. Um, we have a bit of a positive skewness going on, and our test of normality shows that it is significantly different than a normal distribution. So if we go down here and look at our histogram, clearly a positively skewed variable, and our QQ plot is not looking like we would like it to. So let's go through and do a couple of transformations on that. Since it's a positively skewed variable, um, we don't have to do much in order to do a transformation. Let's start with a square root. So transform compute variable. If we type in here CESD, and then under, I usually do an underscore, and then something to remind me what type of transformation I've done on it. So let's start with SQ for a square root. Under arithmetic, you'll find a whole bunch of interesting types of transformations. Square root is going to be the one that we're doing. This will return a positive square root of a numerical expression, which must be numeric and not negative. None of our values are negative, so we can just go ahead and use this one as it is. So if we double click on the square root down here, it'll pop it into our numeric expression. We now have a question mark here, and it says, what do you actually want me to give you the square root of? We can tell it the CESD. I can double click that, or I can use the arrow button to pop it over. At that point, we'll go ahead and hit paste. We'll pop over to our syntax file, highlight that variable, and hit the play button. Now we'll notice that in our data set, we now have a new CESD variable. Let's go ahead and see if that is improved. But, but let's do one other thing. Let's go ahead and do another type of transformation on it. We can choose which one works best. So, so far we've done a square root transformation. Let's also do a log transformation. Go ahead and hit reset. We'll tell it we're going to do a CESD with an LG10 transformation. If again we look under arithmetic, we can look here. That'll return the base 10 logarithm of the numeric expression, which must be numeric and greater than zero. Now remember, our minimum value on CESD is zero, so that's going to cause us a bit of a problem, but not a hard one. So again, we're going to double click here where it says LG10. That'll pop it up into that numeric expression box. And then it has a question mark saying, what do you want me to give you the, new, um, the log of? We'll go ahead and hit CESD over there. And we're going to add one to it. By adding one, we'll increase all the scores on the CESD by one. And we should end up with something that um, doesn't have that issue of, uh, therefore, all of our scores on it will be greater than zero. We'll go ahead and paste that one as well. Now let's see if that worked. Let's go back under Analyze. We can go to Descriptives and Explore in order to see how this came out. We can use our original CESD variable. We'll also use our CESD square root variable and our log. We'll leave out all the other options as we've used them in the past. If we come down here, it's going to take SPSS a minute in order to churn all of that out. So here's our original one. We had a skewness of 0.979, almost 1.0, with a standard error of 0.196. If we come down here, our CESD with a square root transformation changed it to a negative 9.03. It's really actually not better than what we started with. All it did was give us a negative skewness instead of a positive skewness. So it didn't actually help us with the skewness at all. And our log transformation made it much, much worse. In this case, we just stick with our original variable. You always want to check and make sure that the transformation you did actually helped the variable rather than made it worse. So here we took the square root of it. It didn't improve it much at all, but it did make it negatively skewed instead, and it decreased the interpretation. So now the scores on the CESD, if we put means and standard deviations in a table, would look odd. So that didn't actually add um, much, and it decreased our interpretability. So in this case, I would not use a transformation on that variable. Make sure you always check to make sure it actually helped.